I think it's a fascinating moment. Um, there's an explosion of interest in history and in culture going on around the world. It's, it's exciting to see that people are so interested in the, in the culture of the past. It's also fascinating that they're so interested in, in contemporary art. Uh, of course, there are a lot of pitfalls. When it comes to historical art, the world is flooded with fakes. So you really need expertise to weed out the real objects from the fake objects. Hong Kong is clearly going through a kind of a boom period uh, in terms of culture. M plus is capturing the zeitgeist. It can be a kind of a convening point uh, for, for contemporary creativity, albeit through the lens of Hong Kong and, and looking, you know, grounded in this part of Asia. We're living in a, a time of digital revolution we are certainly benefiting. That all said, I am a little bit cautious. You know, what is unique about a museum is the, is the uniqueness of its objects. Our primary purpose is to bring people face to face with works of art, to stimulate their curiosity, and to get them looking and to get them thinking. I want to make someone look at that difficult object and begin to understand it. I'm going to take a sabbatical year. Um, what I was doing was trying to connect people to the subject I loved. As a director, again, on a bigger scale, my job has been connecting people to art objects. There are all sorts of things going on in the art world that are making that difficult digitization, uh, changing demographics, uh, the capitalization of modern art. These are all complicating factors. As I want to take a step back and think about this, write a book, talk, travel around, talk to people about it, and see how I can help contribute, helping other institutions connect their audiences to art.